Welcome to the spoken tutorial on Compare Instructions. In this tutorial, we will learn about Working of Compare Instructions. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 18.04 Operating System LD Micro Open PLC Main Board 24V 2A SMPS USB ASP Programmer Traffic Light Module and Switchboard Module To follow this tutorial, you should know the working of Move Instruction. If not, please refer to the relevant tutorials in this series on this website. Connect SMTS and USB ASP to the main board as shown in the picture. Keep these connections throughout this tutorial. In LD Micro, we have six types of compare instructions. They are equals, not equals, less than, less than or equal, greater than, greater than or equal. These instructions can be used to compare a variable to another variable. Also, when we want to compare a variable to a 16-bit signed constant, working of these compare instructions will be similar, but the functioning will be according to their name. In this tutorial, we will learn about compare for equals instruction in detail. Let us open LD Micro. We will create a virtual circular counter using a compare for equals instruction. Insert a contact. To the right of it, insert an OSR. To the right of OSR, insert an add instruction as shown here. Rename the contact as switch. Double click on the add instruction. Set the destination and first operand to V counter meaning virtual counter. Second operand is by default 1. Don't change that. Click the OK button. Insert a rung below as shown. We will insert Compare for equals and move instruction in the new rung. Place the cursor in the new rung. Click on instructions and then comparison operators. Select insert EQU. Next, place the cursor to the right of the compare for equals instruction. Click on instructions and then select Insert MOV. Double click on Compare for Equals. Compare the V counter variable with 4. That is, set the first column to V counter and the second one to 4. Click the OK button. Double click on the Move instruction. Set the destination variable as V counter and Source variable as 0. We will now check the working of this logic. Let us turn on the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then on simulation mode. Next, start real time simulation as shown. Initially, the state of X switch and V counter are 0. Change the state of X switch to 1. We can observe the state of V counter changes to 1. The state of V counter increases by 1 every time there is a high to low transition in X switch. Keep changing the state of X switch from 0 to 1 and back to 0. We can observe V counter takes values 0, 1, 2, 3 and then goes back to 0. That is like a circular counter with count 3. 
For visualization purpose, we will glow a LED whenever the V counter value is zero. Now, turn off the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then non halt simulation. Then click simulate and simulation mode. Insert a rung below the second rung. Place a compare for equals and a coil in the new rung. Double click on compare for equals. Compare the V counter variable with zero. That is, set the first column to V counter and the second one to zero. Click on the OK button. Rename the coil as LED. Thus, this will energize the Y LED whenever the V counter value is zero. Now, let us compile the logic. The detailed steps on how to compile and save the logic are explained in the earlier tutorials. Click on settings and select the microcontroller. AVR Atmega 16 40 PDIP. Adjust its parameters as shown here. Assign pin PC0 to X switch and PA0 to Y LED. Compile the logic as compare equals dot hex. Then save the ladder diagram as compare equals dot ld. We will now see the working of this logic on hardware. Connect the main board to your laptop using USB ASP. Turn on the power supply. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T key simultaneously. Go to the folder where you have saved the hex file. Type the command as shown to upload the hex file to the main board. Turn off the power supply. Remove the USB ASP connection from the laptop. This will prevent any hardware damage. Let us see the connection details now. Connect. Ground pin of the red LED of traffic light module to ground of the main board. Then connect plus 5 volt pin of the red LED to PAO0 pin of the main board. Connect ground and 5 volts of switchboard to ground and 5 volts of the main board respectively. Then connect NO1 of the switchboard to PC0 of the main board. Make the connections as shown in the picture. After making all the connections properly, turn on the power supply. We can observe that the LED will be glowing initially. It will turn off once the NO1 is pressed. The red LED will glow again after pressing the NO1 for three more times. Thus, LED glow indicates that the count value of the counter is zero. Turn off the power supply. Try out the remaining compare instructions on your own. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned about compare instructions. As an assignment, try to turn on a LED whenever the count process is on and turn off the same LED when the count value becomes zero. Hint, use greater than compare instruction to turn on the LED. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us.
Please post your time queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions on Open PLC? Please visit the FOSI forum and post your question. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. And this is Harsha Priyanka from FOSI team signing off. Thanks for watching.